Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are actually going to understand what is bulkification using code. Code wise, what is bulkification and how to do bulkification and in what cases we usually do bulkification in Salesforce. So let's say uh, I'll consider an example. Let's say if I'm going, this is my contact and this contact, whenever I'm going to update this phone number inside this contact, I want this phone number should be updated inside this account phone number so let's go to this account so if i'm going to put one two three four five six seven then inside the dickinson plc phone should also get updated with one two three four five six seven and vice versa so if we want to do such kind of scenario if you want to achieve such kind of scenario bulkification of code is very much important because if you are going to upload multiple contacts or if you are going to update multiple contacts at the same time this might create an issue uh, it might create a, it might update cross uh, update the record so let's say there is one test one contact i have and for that only acc1 is tagged to it test two contact acc2 is tagged to it test three contact if acc3 is tagged to it but if i bulk update test one test two test three at the same time it won't know which contact which account will be updated with what value so if i update the phone number of this as uh, let's say one one two two and for this one one three three and one one four four and vice versa it won't know for which account should it populate so in that cases we have to create we have to do bulkification of code now in salesforce in triggers in order to do bulkification of code we need to use map sets and list and here to know which contact which contact belongs to which account we have to create maps this is a key value pair which contact will belong to which account or which phone number belongs to which account or which phone number should be updated for which account in such cases we have to create a map for this so let's jump to our developer console and up write code for it now one more important thing as we want whenever a contact is updated whenever a contact field is updated we want that account field to be updated if whenever a contact field is updated whenever a contact field is updated we want the account field to be updated in such cases we usually write after triggers so we are writing going to write the overall things in after update so first things first So if you go through this code right now, what I'm trying to do is trigger.new will contain all the contacts that I'm going to update and then I'm going to check, by, check whether the phone is updated or not. Like the new phone number is uh, not equal to the old phone number. So this means the phone number is updated and if the phone number is updated, I'm creating a map of account ID and phone. So the key here would be maps, uh, the contacts account ID that is this in our case, in this account, it will be Dickens and PLC. Uh, this would be the the idea of this uh, account would be as a key, as served as a key and the phone number which are going to update inside the uh, contact will be served as an uh, value so now once this is done we have to query the con account
so as our key is nothing but the account id so based on the key sets we are trying to get all the accounts start understanding what this trigger is actually doing so in trigger.no we are trying to capture the newest record of the contact and once we have received this contact we are trying to check at this line number whether the phone number is updated or not so if the phone number is updated only then the map will be populated else the map won't be populated so right now if the phone number previously was one two three four five six and it is changed to zero 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 something like that if it is changed only then this map will be populated now if the phone number is pop updated so this map will have id and phone number where id is the key and value is the phone number this is how actually it would look like so let's say there are two contacts with id 0000 and 0001 so this is how it will be populated the account id will be populated and the phone number this is the second accounts account id and this is the phone number so this is how two accounts will be populated inside our map now once we have done this now based on this id 000 and 001 that is key set we are trying to get the account list now the account list will also have all the uh, 0000 and 00001 this both of the account will be over here inside the account list so now as there are two we have to loop each of them at a time so from this ACC list we are going to pick up the first one that is uh, four, four time or five times zero account id and then the acc id the acc id will actually have this five times zero that this that type of the account id and now once we have it we are going to check whether our map has this account id as we can see as we have populated with this value already the map will have this uh, zero zero as the account id so it will go inside this if condition and also out of this if condition we are trying to get the value for this key. so as our key is is zero 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 five times zero 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 or six times zero 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 for that we, we are trying to get the key so properly the phone number will be mapped based on this account id so for 0 0 0 only we will get this phone number so automatic the acc phone will be populated with this proper phone number next time also will happen the same for 0 0 1 which will be passed as uh, which will pass inside the map we will automatically get this phone number as this as this our as our phone number so this is how the mapping of everything will happen and finally the update of the account list will happen so let's test this so let's say this our phone number is right now updated to something so let's say if i update to and click on save and if you go to dickens and plc which previously had four times zero and if i refresh it it is updated to this phone number so this is how we do bulkification in Salesforce and Trigger. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel.